Hey Stylish Mamas, I just had to give you guys an update on what I'm going through right now. I am 40 weeks tomorrow and I experienced some strong contractions yesterday that were lasting a minute to five minutes apart for about an hour and a half. I came home, we left our son with our parents, came home and they kind of stopped. Really frustrating. So today I woke up, my hips hurt really bad. So we walked around Balboa Park. And then we ended up going out to breakfast. At breakfast, I started contractions again. We're at least for an hour between one and three and a half minutes. Came home and took a bath and they kind of stopped. <laughs> Coming back in the bedroom and um, just on the workout ball and just kind of, you know, kept my hips loose. Just kind of waiting it out. Um, they ended up becoming stronger. I talked to the doula, I said, wait for them to become strong. So intense that you can't talk. Um, I've had about three now, four now that I've been pretty strong. Um, slowly started to lose my mucus plug which means I guess I'm two centimeters or maybe a little more dilated. And um, that also means that I'm 100% effaced, which is good. Once you're so strong that I really have to focus and cannot speak, that is when we were heading into the hospital. So this process has been very long. I've had seven days of random contractions. So. Um, this is obviously the most intense I've ever been. So, um, yay for going all natural with the doula. It is like seven something on Sunday. Still Sunday. But now it's up. And I am now going for a walk. Um, mucus plug is out. 100% effaced and I've had stronger contractions where I can't focus but I can still talk so we are now walking around the block to try to hopefully make contractions stronger move things along because we would really like to go to the hospital <laughs> now <laughs> so yeah, now and not when we should be sleeping at 10. So, that is the latest update on what is happening with me. It is now Monday, July 9th. It is her actual due date. experiencing now contractions since 3 a.m. Um, waking me up so they were very strong and now we're just kind of waiting for them to become so strong where I cannot talk I am tired now which is really sucky but it is almost 7 20 to 7 so she just wants to beat rush hour traffic because she knows that wouldn't be a good idea if she came during that. So she's she's saving us actually from a big uh, potential disaster. Baby in the car. <laughs> um, I do believe she's coming today. I just have a feeling that she wants to have her due date be her date of birth and no one guessed would be her due date so I think that's another reason um, but she's cracking us up not really because I'm really ready for her to come but the past couple days I've been able to understand her a little more and um, it's very it's very interesting how you can connect with your baby uh, 
in, in uh, utero, in the womb. So hoping and praying for uh, contractions to speed up, become more intense, more so, and us to be able to get to the hospital and uh, deliver her healthy and um, natural and have everything go smoothly. So that's update now. We are taking another walk tonight. It's almost seven. Things are um, slightly progressing, but not enough to make a dent. So, man, for your second, you would think that um, it'd be early. I come earlier. I wouldn't be as crazy, but not for me, I guess. Not this time around. Um, so, to be continued. Hey, it is now 4.43. I went on a walk earlier this morning before it got way too hot outside and came back. Um, before that, contractions were kind of strong. Came back, they kind of subsided. Um, they are strong again right now. Um, they've been strong for a little bit. A uh, really strong one, and then light, and then strong, and then light. Um, I lost more of my mucus plug. I've been doing stretches, squats, and lunges. And um, now I'm just resting because I'm tired from doing those. It's probably about a half hour of that. Um, yeah, I can't really tell you anything else. I've just been drinking a ton of water, hydrating. I did take a nap after the walk, which was nice. It was about a half hour nap. So I didn't have a contraction through that, which was super great. So we're still hoping for today, baby. You know, um, we're hoping that she's on her due date. That would be wonderful. Only 5% of women get that. So, um, I don't know if I'll be in that lucky five, but it'd be wonderful if I, if I did, or at least if we get to go to the hospital soon, um, while we're awake before we go back to sleep tonight. That would be ideal for me personally, just to know that we are progressing in the right direction. So... That's my update. Still keeping you posted. One day past due date, we are walking again. We just got done with breakfast. And we have our kiddo with us. So we are, uh, okay. we are just walking her out. Since uh, last night I was able to have a good night's sleep woke up to contractions, slowly progressing, and now they're at their strongest. So far today, I tried to get an earlier appointment in to the doctors for a membrane sweep, because I have one tonight at 440, a doctor appointment, but they can't get me in any earlier because I have none, no openings. So they said the mucus plug is out. There wouldn't be much they were to, they, to do about the membrane sweep. It's just really to go up there and irritate it at this point because the mucus plugs out. So, I guess uh, we're just uh, hoping that I go into labor before my appointment. That would be mostly ideal. So we will see. Um, but yeah, it's getting pretty, uh, pretty annoying. It's 10 a.m. on now the 10th. So, we will see what happens. After, uh, after this walk and throughout the rest of the day. Hopefully I'll be able to go into the doctors soon. I mean the hospital. Okay, it is now about two o'clock on the 10th. And I've been experiencing contractions uh, for about more than an hour now. Um, and they are between 
two and three or four minutes apart. And they are pretty, pretty significantly stronger than they were on Saturday or Sunday when I did them. So, um, mind over matter. <laughs> you're just thinking through them and you're pushing through them. And so, um, that is my latest update. Still, still mucus is coming out, which is interesting. And, um, no bloody show, as they call it. When you wipe, you should have some sort of blood shown. I, I do not have that yet. I still have my appointment at 440 today, where they're going to check me, see how far I'm dilated, make sure she is still head down, and um, see um, my, sweep my membrane and see how that all turns out. Um, because of this situation right now, I think there's a good good possibility that today could be the day, and tonight would be going in. Um, who knows? But uh, it's a good chance. It's a good thought. Um, it's really uh, harder to do it with a house full of your family, um, your two-year-old who's screaming at you when you're just trying to like curl up in a ball and deal with a contraction. Um, I'm excited to kind of get up now and kind of move a little so that I'm not completely laying down during one so that I can kind of, you know, move it, um, shift it around and make it not as painful. Um, so that's what I'm doing right now. I got my water, I'm still drinking water, but I definitely need to get something else in my system, maybe like some fruit or something. The important thing is that you keep up your food levels and your water levels so that when you go in, you're not completely depleted of both since they really don't let you really have anything when you go in, which is always lame. So, um, I probably need to do that. Probably now. So, there's my update. I just got done with my doctor's appointment. Um, I'm five centimeters dilated and um, we are now at Mary Birch and he just is gonna pass us through triage to go straight in two. I have had super strong contractions. This last one has been ridiculous. So here we are. So baby's probably coming tonight. It is now six, no five p.m. A little after five. So just touch and base. This is what, this is what it's like. Oh. Is she okay? Do they need her? She's do they need her to no. do something? No, she's, no, she's, she's, she's fine. fine. She's, we're just doing delayed cord clamping. Okay, okay. Several okay. minutes of all that delayed cord clamping. Is she okay to be right there? Yeah. She's, she's perfect. perfect. She's cuddled this is up. exactly what we want. Huh? Okay. She's Had her at 9:27 p.m. So she's here, June. I mean, July 10th. And this is the day my husband and I met. We actually met tonight, and um, so it's a special day for us. And she was nine pounds, ten ounces exactly, twenty inches long. We did it all natural with our doula, and um, I'm exhausted and in slight pain, but we're doing it. We got it done. Yes. Rough night. Um, she ended up waking up around four and ended up. Um, I looked over at her. I looked at my husband. I looked back at her, and she was spitting up, and she was turning blue, and. Um, 
the nurse came in and she tried to pat her on the back but wasn't tilting her forward, patting her on the back, trying to get it out. And I was telling her to tilt her forward, tilt her forward, and then she called another nurse and another nurse came in. Anyway, since then they had had to take her down to nursery. And she's been in the nursery and I've visited her twice so far, 6 a.m. to feed, trying, and, um, and then at mm, 8 a.m. We went down there around 8.30. And then, um, so we are, they're running a CBC and a chest and um, abdomen scan on her to make sure she is okay. Um, so we don't have her yet back in our room. So that's kind of frustrating. It's almost 11. We might get her back at noon, depending on everything's okay. And um, so it's just really hard because we got her, we have her, but we haven't had her back. So um, not much sleep happening over here on, with me. Um, I, am, I am in some pain and um, abdomen really hurts and um, yeah, I had a three degree tear. So the highest is four, and that's your rectum. So thank God that didn't tear, but a three degree. So it was pretty bad. Um, this morning I managed to take a shower, which is nice. And um, it's really hard to walk. All of a sudden you feel like your legs don't work and your whole body is just, you know, not strong and my abdomen's not strong and so nothing feels like it works and I'm having a hard time moving so it's frustrating I have really a lot of lower back pain which is oh, you think that would dis dissipate now that um, she's out but um, it's still there so um, yep we're just here waiting for her to come back in our room so we could love on her so um, other than that she is doing well she seems happy. We've gotten smiles from her. Um, so little Mineral Lynn is, is, is strong. She's strong. At nine pounds, 10 ounces, she better be strong. All right, latest update. two days now well two days in total and just adjusting the life um, she's doing really good my son's doing really good with her too and um, it's just crazy we just we just can't believe she's here I still am can't believe she's here it was such a quick um, delivery and so blessed for that and now it's just aftermath breastfeeding um my milk finally came in uh two days ago and it's it's been pretty good she's she does pretty good it still hurts because yeah it does but she has really um been really good with feeding and she Last night, finally, she actually slept through the night. If I would have let her keep sleeping, she probably would have. I had to wake her up in order to feed her. And so we're trying to establish day and night. And we did that with her son, and it worked beautifully. So last night was the first night we got true sleep, which is amazing when you even get three hours of sleep. You feel so refreshed. So... Things are going really well here. There she is. So, Lindsay, you know, she really doesn't like swaddles. So we don't do swaddles because, yeah, she's not really into them and she breaks out of them. So these little outfits are really great for sleeping. Actually, I love them. They're so cute. They're so cute. 
Yeah, they're just so cute. 